Thank you for joining. This is Joe here at The Guy Show. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Today we're going to do one of my favorite chicken cooks. It's a pan seared, lime salted, charcoal roasted chicken. Wow, I know it's a mouthful, but it's, it's delicious. One of my favorite. And we're going to be doing it with the um, broccoli cream cheese gratin that I'm also going to put out there in the Weber kettle. So it's going to be a good one. We'll be right back and I'll show you all the ingredients. We got a beautiful, almost six pound Foster Farms young chicken that I'm gonna fabricate. We got some beautiful broccoli, some very fresh looking limes, heavy cream, and grated Parmesan cheese. Salt and pepper, of course, of course. All right, everybody. I rinsed and I patted dry the chicken, so let's go ahead and fabricate it. Let me get a steel here. You need a sharp, you need a sharp knife. All right, we're gonna go through the uh, the rib, the rib, the. We're gonna go in on the breast side with long, with long even strokes. Just go down the rib cage and you get inside. Nice even strokes. You get down, nice even strokes. Oh, that looks beautiful. And then you get down to the joint, down with the wing. You may wanna cut through that. And at this point, just cut your the breast up just like that. Bingo bango. Let's do the other side. Man, that look that went really easy. Again, we go down down the rib, down the ribs, down the ribs, and the um, wishbone on the rear end here. Wishbone on the rear end here. You could take off the wishbone before beforehand. And as you get down, as you get down here, you get to the joint with the the wing. And at this point you could pick it up and separate the oh look at that wham okay let's turn her around feel for the oyster which would be right here which is uh, the best part of the chicken the oyster is the best part of the chicken so I want to get to the oyster oh don't miss this out Get to the oyster, cut the oyster, turn her around, okay, this side here, Get the oyster cut, cut the oyster out. Cut down the front end, break the joint there. Come back around. So that'll leave us uh, this for stock. All right, we're back. So here's a lime and salt version of this recipe here. So we have some lime zest, sea salt, although I must admit I do prefer kosher salt, but I find I have sea salt and sea salt, plus they didn't have kosher salt at the store today. So we're gonna take the chicken breast and we're gonna separate the skin from the breast but not disconnect just make a little pocket just make a little pocket just like that we're gonna go in there we'll go in there we're gonna use all the all the zest here okay
Give it a little salt inside. Hit the outside with salt. Spread out the, the skin to cover as much of the breast as you can. Turn it over. That looks really good. Let's do the other one here. Cover up as much of the breast of the salt as you can. Let's go turn over. And you know what? We're just going to go salt and lime zest. We're not going pepper, just salt and lime zest. And that'll make for an incredible, incredible flavor. Same thing with the uh, leg quarters. Let's go in there, make a little pocket. Let's go in there with the lime zest between the skin and the chicken. Again, we don't want to separate, we don't want to take off the, the skin, but we definitely want to get in there. Make sure the uh, zest and the salt are incorporated in there. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Both sides there. Um, no need to add lime zest to the outside of the chicken. It's just gonna be hit with some very hot oil. It's just gonna burn and cook away to nothing really, but the zest that's, good, that's inside the breast, between the breast and the chicken tends to take on a, oh, a beautiful citrusy aroma, perfume if you may. Let's do these wings. The wings I am going to hit with the outside of. All right, we're back. So you, I see my pan is nice and very hot. Very hot. So we're going to take one of these hind quarters, hind quarters, leg quarters, if it was a, a mammal. Oh, let me use my hands. Here we go. Drop it away from you. Beautiful. You could start smelling the lime zest and the salt, it just starts walking up. Doesn't even smell like lime. It takes on like a floral, citrusy type of. So moving around so it won't stick and I was just going. I just want a very light golden brown. Light golden brown. And since it is the hindquarters, I'm gonna take it a little longer than I would the breast. Turn up the heat just a little bit. Let's go. Let's get going here. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is one of my favorite cooks. I tried with uh, every herb and citrus combination, and it really just came down to a very simple two two ingredient deal, just lime zest and salt. Beat out everything else, all the herbs, the different combinations. That's not looking too bad. Just hit the bottom here. So the skin started to render. We got color coming on. And just gonna give it a nice head start when it hits the 
Weber on an indirect, which I started the cold. I got the colds on the well. You, you'll see as I come back to the to the, to the, to the kettle. Any good focus on this right now? Mmm. -mm. I'm gonna let the, the oil do its thing a little longer on the leg quarters than I do the, the breast for obvious reasons. For obvious reasons. Okie doke. Quarter number one done. I'm going in with the second hind quarter. <laughs> hey man, if you excuse me, I'm gonna have a pop. Oil is smoking, we're ready to roll. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the breast. And again, fat side down and I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. And make sure you lay it down away from you. Turn the heat back on. Oh, he's on. It's on high. Well, let's turn it down a little bit. And there you go. Let it do its thing. With the breast, that I want a quick color because they're going to cook faster, obviously. Oh yeah, I think that'll do it. Come back this way. Now, just gonna hit it. I'm gonna baste it with some oil right here. On the, uh, on the wing part. And that's gonna do it for the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and sear the rest of the chicken. And we'll come right back at the charcoal grill. We'll be right back. All right, all right. I'm gonna turn them over. Turn them over this way. Stoke, stoke the ch stoke the coals.
doesn't look too bad. Instead, we're going to give them another, and I would like to see more color. We're going to give them another 15 minutes and see what they look like then. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there, babies. <laughs> hey, we're back. Hey, thanks for hang hanging in there with me. So, let's start and finish the broccoli. As you remember, we cleaned and blanched the broccoli, we cooled it. So that's, that's your right there. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, so I got this medium saucepan. I'm gonna add some cream. All right there, that's about all we need. We're gonna bring her up and bring her to a, to a skull. We're gonna bring her to a skull. Hang in there with me, we'll be right back folks. This is the beginning of this beautiful broccoli dish. Hey, we're back. So our cream is scalding, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a nice little dab of butter. Oh, yes. We're gonna let that go for a little bit. And also, I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Oh yes, oh yes. We're gonna let that go. Everything just melts into this cream. It'll be beautiful. Let's do that. We'll get right back. Hang in there with me. Everything's looking beautiful. Chicken's still on the grill, looking excellent, just waiting for the broccoli to join it. We'll be right back. All right, here we go. So we got our pan nice and pretty warm. Turn up the heat just a little bit. I'm gonna put the cheese sauce in the back. So to it, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter. It's gonna be one take. So hang in there with me, don't go anywhere. Let's melt this butter into the oil. And let's go ahead and add some raw garlic. Some raw minced garlic. Fresh, freshly minced garlic. This is one take, so don't go anywhere. Just gonna finish her up and then put her on the grill to join the chicken. So we wanna cook the garlic. Like raw garlic. We love garlic, we just don't like raw garlic, right? Here we go. Garlic's gonna appear. The garlic. Oh, she's tanning. The garlic is tanning. You can't see it almost because of the uh, the butter. Just... Here we go with the shallots. I'll save uh, double the amount of minced garlic and shallots. Cook the shallots. I'm turning the heat down. Cook the shallot. The garlic is thick. Is that a? Is that a beautiful tan? <laughs> okay, look at that. That looks beautiful. Okay, in go the the broccoli, the blanched broccoli. I'm gonna hit it with some salt.
red cracked pepper. I like pepper. <laughs> All right. See here. Well, just one take. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm just gonna taste that. And see where we're at. Better blow on it. I don't want to burn my mouth. Mmm. So, a little more salt. more pepper and that's right here comes the cheese sauce baby oh, <laughs> oh my god look at that Beautiful. Holy, holy smokes. I'll let that go. Let's hit it with some club crackers, aka Ritz crackers. Beautiful. So, let's see. Um, we're gonna take a look at that grill and that chicken. We'll meet you guys outside. Hey, hang in there with me, baby. We're almost done. All right. Now we're ready to put the broccoli on with the chicken. Let's see what the chicken looks like. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's looking beautiful. Is that the broccoli? We're not gonna mess around. Well, we're just in here. Chicken looks. I don't want to burn the broccoli. Okay, there you have it. Let's close this. We're gonna give this another 10 minutes. I think we'll be done. Hang in there with we're almost done. All right. Well, if you could see this, see the steam coming off. Okay, it could be a little juicier. Just take a bite. Mmm. You can taste the lime right off the bat. Let's take. A taste of my favorite part. Which is. Excuse me. <laughs> that is so good. That was the bread. Salty. Limey. Just so good. I need to I need to take a drink now. I'm gonna take a a bite of the um the thigh, which is my favorite. My dogs are going crazy right now. Oh yeah. Look at that. This is, oh, this is superb. Juicy, oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Mmm. I gotta go in for one more. Are you kidding me?
Salty and limey, fatty and juicy. Oh my god. Let's try the broccoli. Oh my god, excuse me. I gotta swallow this chicken down. I gotta swallow the chicken. Oh my god, that chicken is. Oh my god, okay, here comes the broccoli. The cream sauce, the blanched broccoli, the club crackers, and the chopped parsley. Basically, that's about it. Oh, and don't forget the garlic. And the shallots. You gotta cook that garlic and that butter. Then the shallots. You don't want raw garlic. Unless you like raw garlic. Here we go. Oh my god. I gotta go up for another one. That is so good. Look at that steam coming off of that. Look at that. I gotta look at the camera. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Here we go. One more time. Mmm. I can't tell which one's the star of this video. The broccoli or the chicken, they're both equal. I hope you give that a try. If anything else, it gives you an idea of open up your chicken cook repertoire and the vegetable repertoire. I mean, it's such a, it's a little, you got a couple steps to do this now. That's a beautiful way to Prepare your broccoli and chicken. Oh my, how simple is that? Lime, salt, a hot pan, a hot indirect grill. You gotta get that thing hot. Somewhere over 500, 750, you just gotta keep an eye on it. You don't wanna burn it. You just wanna get it crusted. You wanna get a golden brown after you seared it. Even if you don't have a grill, put it in your oven. Put, set the oven up at 425, sear it. Put it in there for 45 minutes, check it to 165, it is poultry. Thank you, thank you for sharing this with me. I'm Joe here at The Guy Show. If you like what you saw here, hit smash that like button, subscribe, and I got more stuff coming up. It'll be a lot of fun. So I'll see you here next time in The Guy Show. Goodbye everybody.